this um, novel, the elements of style depict. Yet, in the end of the end of the poem, when a sentence is made stronger, it usually becomes shorter. <laughs> Thus, brevity is a byproduct of vigor. Brevity is a byproduct of vigor. That means after you work hard, you can achieve a short sentence and a clear sentence. Um, okay, so this is the elements of song. Thank you. The end was already made known when um, stylish academic writing get the end just to go in on my kitchen button. The theory was ending. There is a massive gap between what most readers consider to be good writing and what most what academics typically produce and publish. That means not all academics are good writers. The book team academics send so how to be she. Nabihi <laughs> Okay, so this is a huge issue, right? This is a big problem. Okay, so um, the end of the what is the purpose of academic writing? Who is reading your work? I'm always thinking about my, my reader. Okay, what is the purpose of academic writing? And academic developments of the UA. What is the purpose of academic writing? Troy said many times. New knowledge. Okay, good. Communicating new knowledge. Creating new knowledge. Okay. Anything else? Disseminating your work. Okay. How about inspiring people, or how about, or how about um, having them think differently about something, like opening their mind to a new concept? So it's of course about disseminating our work. Okay, we found this, we found that, but we also want to inspire people to think differently. We want to influence and impact them with our work. Okay. Okay. Facebook Facebook assessment 
Then Tanrin Tomash, Tomash, that's your responsibility as a writer to attract and engage the reader. If the Tanrin Tomash, you're in your, your, um, your epidemic, uh, with that speech, get the UA. With that help, uh, you angle. Or, and she's got no only help. Okay, great. Not enough experience here, but most likely faculty. So, the limits of the thinking outside the box. I'm thinking outside the box. Oh, that's a much better. Titanic had taken us, it's also like uh, finding all of the resources to link my work, you know, that especially in the oh, mm -hmm. it is really hard to find all the resources then you have to stay there. Linking it with the other you know, if any was shot was academic, you you meet what or only omni needs and such uh it omnen bitchen would would don't shut it off the credit. It was also much of the fish to tell much how much there is. But there is no such a touch in Sanayu was a wooden was the actual way he did pass Japanese. Then much it's a take it that any binary here. They get agile be many oiton than has it agile both armor agile fish yak hund agile be yak much tom new. Maybe I want to dig a hole. See, take it agile. Take it new, new. It's weird. What do we do? Be agile. Take it tall, new. Got it. As for be fashion better. What's be the other side? Fashion better. What the, what the, the other side? What the, fashion back. Take it be or got got out here. See, for my labor, it's heavy labor. See, he he, hun hun more. See, which hun was he hun hun more? Do you get what that? Take it money hot this. Ook Karstigui, they get two year botak, pitchy catch it pitch. You pitchy catch it for pitch. How not we in pitches for home? Do you pitch, 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 pitch? How here we you, Tara Ugood would be chat or we lose Hamu with. I can be chat, pitch at pitch. Did much send you so how much then the pitch thing? They get botak, then the botak, thinner, pitchy day botch and at some time. They get writing is thinking. Sometimes people think, I'm just going to think about it, then I will be inspired and I will have some writing that comes out of me. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Actually, the writing produces the thinking. Sirgir <laughs> So I don't know if you know maybe who uh, have a great, they can speak and their ideas quite fluently, but they have trouble writing them down. Sure. So if they can use a recorder to, uh, or now your phone can record for you. Your phone, or there's now Microsoft Word, there's an auto dictate. So then you just dictate sound for the page. That's changing New York Times, 
I learn new style, you know, new elements of style. Yeah, I learn much boy. That's what Tandrin taught them It's not pleasures on just oro so that's like the idea of like writing labor. Okay, so I talked about this elements of style, the anxious elements of style then. It be basanthatsu, mongus humus pas you meet it, arad or maikar, um, tana, uh, tatpurinti, koi maikar, maikar, you should be shikai, mongus humus should be shikai, you're the kaya, be basanthatsu, you know, Elements of style, So, what's the elements of style in Mongolian? Like the new shushik metaphors, idioms. What are some ways you can take those style and bring it into English? <laughs> so you can use some Mongolian elements of style. Instead of me telling you use my elements of style, use your own elements of style. So what do you think? What are some Mongolian elements of style? Something on slick. So here, you, you, Swiss, you, a Mongolian quiet fiction of production. You can also do that. <laughs> I want to read a fact about Mongolian children in this written on this literature. And she says, uh, she, uh, the is why are Mongolian children treated like pigs? Is the kind of thing you want to Yes, okay, great. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Would you like to say something? No. This is what they say. Nibosh <laughs> I think it's like a number in slide. I'm going to go to the mini author of the answer and then to the ten boobies which just there. It's not a movie for a chicken suit and go to long dreams to the arts and good for the age of the day. And just to the day, you know, short special. Okay. 
It's like a famous writer, right? In Mongolia. He wrote, did he write academic stuff? That's a touch. What did you use? I have to say. It was like he wrote like operas, right? He wrote like an opera, right? A beautiful opera. Is that Natsuk Torch? No, no. Okay. Did you, did you, you can read Natsuk Torch's opera and learn what are his stylistic elements to engage the audience. And you can use those elements in your academic writing. <laughs> You're not writing fiction, but you can write in a beautiful way about your academic research by using inspiration from other literature or poetry or other style. That will make the reader more engaged with your work. That's weird, right? I can remember like vividly the story from Natsuk Torch from 10 years ago, but I can't remember the article from yesterday. That has to do with the writing, how it is written. You have to put some memory in your reader's brain for them to remember, oh, Ariel wrote about, you know, winters without women. I can remember it because she told me a beautiful story within her academic research, or I, I hope. If you don't tell a good story, if you don't present your ideas in a beautiful and careful way, no one is going to remember your work. So the work I remember of academics are always the very well-written work because they put that in my brain to remember for a long time. Listen, 
So Troy said the other day, you know, you should have passion, you should have beauty, and passion and beauty within academic writing. It doesn't have to be boring. It should be giving information, it should have facts, it should have evidence, it should be rigorous, but it should also be, we hope, beautiful. That's what we aspire to be. I will keep trying until I die to have some beautiful writing. It's an effort that we make all the time. We have to keep trying, keep trying. It's mm -hmm. like a huge goal, you know, to have that, uh, you know, it's not easy. You know, it's not like, oh, okay, it's done. I don't have to try again. You have to keep trying, keep trying. So I want to inspire you to touch your reader, you know, touch your reader's heart and brain through your writing. Yeah. <laughs> So I noticed Troy includes also very beautiful ways to engage the reader, even though his topic is maybe other people might think, oh, it's about drought, but he finds ways to inspire us through a history, a historical story or some description. Okay. I write with more description and storytelling techniques. Even though I have evidence, I'm presenting my evidence through a type of storytelling that's more like an anthropological approach. Yeah. So there's many different, you know, all from often some Ben or Tim Sander. Okay, hey, then Tanarin, um, uh, sort of, um, okay, this is your challenge. How to write in a, the academic genre, but in a clear, engaging, and an analytical way. So <clears throat> how do we do this? My suggestion is you have to read a lot, not just academic stuff, but other stuff. Like you should read Nancy Coach again, you know, or your favorite author. I love John Steinbeck in the US. I read him a lot because I love his style. So you should read whatever you think is a um, you know, high quality writing. It doesn't always have to be academic writing. These are my examples. I read award-winning academic books or New York Times, New Yorker. They have beautiful um, uh, sort of authors. Okay, first you have to read a lot, then you have to write a lot um, because you need to put time and effort into the writing. And then you need to get feedback from people. So I have a few friends I share my writing with and they tell me, Ariel, this just sounds crazy. This doesn't make any sense. This is a really bad sentence. And sometimes they help me edit. So many, many people use editors or friends. They don't write alone. Writing is something you do with a community. But you have to trust those people, right? Mm -hmm. They don't steal your ideas, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Um, 
яг уу дараа нь гэх юм бол түгэн бас хэлсэн те бичин гэдэг бол ганцаараа хийдэг ажил биш бүтэг ганцаараа хийдэг ажил даа гэдэг биш их уншаа их бичээд дараа нь их хүмүүсээс хэлгөө цаанс цаанс тэгээд хамгийн гол нь тэр хүмүүсний ч өөр их гэж байгаа хэвчтэй тэр хүмүүс надад одоо ийм 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 зүйлөө өгч ина ийм бий те тэр нь бол миний судлаг сайжруулах төс болно гэдэг тийм итэлтэй байх хэрэгтэй миний зүг тийм хүмүүсээ бас сонгох хэрэгтэй те тэр нь болоо үзсэн байх хэрэгтэй за тэгээ миний бас сүтлэг бол энд ам ю бичхин баг ам бодол байгаа рэ ари горо дөрө хүнтэ энд бичхин баг гэж болно те би маны нэг найз америкт байв бир хоёр нэг дот хоног хоёр удаа цахимаар ю хот болоод би бид нар конста юм бич чин тэр нэг юм би тэр өөрөө төсөлт би өөрөө төсөлт за би яг нэг бич чин тэр өөрөө нэг бич чин тэр би нар хоёр хоёр цаг тэгээд бичээд тэгээд за цаг туслаа юм би бичсэн бэ ямар байсан бэ тэгээд хэдсэн байсан уу амжилттай байсан уу хай би нар баг хоёр жижиг юу өгөөд өгөөлбөл бич чин өнөөдөр амар хэцүү байсан би баг бич чих зүй гихтэй үзэж чин тэ that's like giving you some commitment writing commitment тэгээд магди энэ орны санаар нэг хоёр хүмүүс сонгоод за хамт бич юм яг адилт нь орн баг хэрэг би сайн цахим орны болж болно тэ тэгээд чи нэг биш байгаа бичээд тэгээд тийм нар санаа төгөөд гэж болно тэгээд бас it helps you stay like um you know focused тэгээд юу нэг баг юу гэдэг долоо хоног хуур бич хэрэгтэй хам баар тэр яг таасан so anyway i hope it's clear in Okay, so let's start with something. You guys just wrote an abstract. So now let's try to write a title for your abstract. And actually it's very difficult. So, um I want you to um think of a title. It should be 10 words or less. Uh, Troy probably thinks it should be shorter. So, it should catch the reader's attention. Because okay, for example, so with mining, right? There's a huge amounts of literature on mining in, in Mongolia or in the world, okay? So if I'm writing an article I need to decide which set of literature do I want to engage with here. Do I want to talk about global mining issues like land acquisition or eviction or do I want to talk about very specific Mongolia literature or both maybe. But you can't talk about everything because you only have 8000 words or 10000 words. So you have to make very clear choices about which literature relates to your um relates to your data. What theory relates to your data? and that's also your own choice. Одоо ингээд чин уул уухад тийш ахын боллоо. Мэдээж ингээд уул уухад чи хаасайгүй байгаа ерөөхдөө глобал асуудал шүү дээ. Тэгэхээр тэртээ холбоотой бүх уул уурхын имиг уншиг боломж байхгүй тэрийг багтаагч боломж байхгүй 8000 дуу байгаа зөвхөн монголтой холбоотой бичигдсэн уул уурхай зөвхөн бүтээлүүдийг унших юм уу яг алий нуруулах юм эдгээж өөр ширэн нь болов чи өөрийнхөө хэмжээр сонгох сонгож хийх асуудал гэсэн үг. За тэгээд тэр нь тэр нь дараа тэгээд аргумент болох сонсох хэрэгтэй. Тэгээд одоо за манай гад ингэж ингэж байна. Ам миний гол юу өөр түнэнд байна. За одоо олон улсын юу өмнөд судлаа энэ юу бэ тэгээд тэр хоёр бол болсон тэгээд миний аргумент одоо энэ тэр маш тодорхой байх хэрэгтэй за тэр бүх юу тодорхой болоо тэгээд тань шич болсон одоо ямар юу which section do you want to write first you can decide i want to write my data analysis section first i want to write my methodology section first it's your own you know choice what you want to do first So some people like I like to start with the empirical sections. I like to write up all my um kind of results or tell my story, you know. Then later I will work on my literature review and my introduction. So like Troy said he writes his introduction last, not first. So some people start in the some people start at the, you know, later parts of the section. It's up to you what you want to do. Тэгэхээр хот уу сайн хийсэн дээр нэг нэг үгийн шинжилгээнээс хэлэх зүгээр гэдэг. Тэр нь болохоор арай арийлын өөрийнхөө дарга байрлал байна л да. Тэгээ хүн судлаач болгоон өөрийн гэсэн одоо анх баярлалтай байдаг. Тэгээ бол жишээ нь аа өөрөө тоглоо. Одоо хамгийн сүүлийн бичлэг гэж хэлчихлээ. 
чи бүгдлэ хэмжээч бичиж болно хэр энэ бол чи аль идэхэн нэрэл өөртөө тийм сум сум хагийн үүд олж байгаа гэсэн. Okay, so if you're writing to publish an academic journal, you should know which journal you're publishing, you're going to send your article to first. And you need to follow their format. So you can look at the previously published articles and follow the same format. Because if you write in a totally different style, then the journal will say, okay, you should rewrite your article. So you need to decide that first. We'll talk about how to choose an article, or how to choose a journal later. Okay, active voice is very important. You should use active voice. Probably when you were in high school, they said, read a te you know, write in passive voice. But active voice will force you to be clear. That means like, okay, here's an example of passive uh, active voice. A car hit the bird. Passive voice is a bird was hit by a car. The actor is not clear in the second one if you write a very, very long, complex sentence. So using active voice will force you to write in a clear, clearer way. If you want to have an active voice, you should use the word that you should use. If you want to have the word that you should use, you should use the word that you should use. If you want to have the word that you should use, you should use the word that you should use. If you want to have the word that you should use, you should use the word that you should use. If you want to have the word that you should use, you should use the word that you should use. If you want to have the word that you should use, you should use the word like for example, in the sentence we know, a car is the subject, the verb is it, and the verb is the object of this verb. In this, if we hit the long, long, long sentence, for example, it's confusing what's the subject and object of the sentence. We don't know, especially if you're using theoretical concepts. It becomes very unclear. So that's why, you know, what's my subject? What's my verb? What's my object? That, I know it sounds really basic, but it becomes very important. Sometimes I have to rewrite my sentences totally. Um, I write and then I'm like, oh, it doesn't make sense. I need to rewrite my sentence. Mm -hmm. So it's just, just back to basics. That's like basically what we said. So, I think it's ort ugut was, um, you heard when the ort ugut was pitch was weird, you did that's a good thing. That the pitch is a pitch, you did pitch, you did that. That was awesome. They think it was good for the middle of the month, it was the hell. No, no run-on sentences. Like that one sentence was like thirty words or something. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Sixty-five. Okay. So then the last one is um. It's often it's good to create an outline before you write. You know, I'm I'm creating a structure for my my essay or my article, introduction, methods. You have the different sections clearly laid out. Okay, this is a sweeping slide, Mena. So, um, paragraphs should only have one main point or idea. 
That's like a tricep is P E E point evidence explanation. That should be, that's a paragraph. One point, one paragraph. Okay. So that's just the end of the point of the big paragraph. And you could um, then. Okay. We need to know try and see P E E all sana, Kirik Batla, Berm, Tigakir Hoya, Parma Hospital, Kikik, Tasps and Tasper, Tigakik Parma Hospital. Okay. So if you make a claim, like some claim or argument, you should support it with some evidence or examples. Um, if you just make a claim without evidence or examples, then most reviewers will um, reject that argument. So the main way is that you always need evidence and examples to support your claims. Like if I say 80% of Mongolia is overgrazed, okay, what's my evidence? I need to have many exa evidence examples to support that claim. Um, so that's the basic idea of lesson. Я вот сам ну вот этот вот сейчас сейчас мы сейчас там на бэнда пытаться идти, а вот не одоо ингээд автор нь их нэг автор 80% нь бичиг байгаа гэж тавчихсан гэж тэр бичгийг бол тавьсан л бол тэрний хаараас даавал энэ чинь энэ дата чинь 80% гэдэг тоо хаанаас гарч ирсэн юм бэ тэрийгээ тайлбарлах баримта гүйх хэрэгтэй. Okay, try to avoid generalizations which means you should be as specific as possible. Um, and just think, okay, how can I make this more specific, more specific? That's quite, uh, that's quite helpful. So avoid your validations. Okay, so if you have a question, you can ask me, 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 you can so Troy's writing style is different than my writing style, and that's probably okay. We appreciate each other's different styles. Um, but, you know, it depends on your discipline. Anthropology has its own kind of conventions or rules, and remote sensing or uh, geog human ge physical geography has different rules. So there's many different styles. You just need to understand and read your journals to get a sense or a feeling for the different style. That's my final point. Sabe isso.